Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about apps. I have some really awesome and actually very useful apps to share with you guys that will make your iPhone better. Of course, iPhones are all about apps and having the right apps on your device will let you get way more out of your device and do much more with your iPhone. Now, before we get into all that, I just wanna ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. It will really help the channel a lot. So we're starting things off with iFixit. This is an app that will help you fix basically everything when it comes to technology. So this is the app right here and this is what you will see. So what you can do here is basically discover different devices like your devices right here. If I go to my device here, I can just go to different guys like how to actually fix different things or you can just go ahead and search here for any problems that you might have with your device and what's really cool is that they also have a store here we can actually go ahead and buy things buy tools that will help you fix any problems that you might have with your device so in this case, if I go ahead and search here for Mac overheating, you will see it shows me different tools and different parts. And then we have the guides right here. So it will take you to the step-by-step -step process of basically letting you know everything that you need in order to fix that problem that you might have with your device. And what's really cool again is that they will also have here all kinds of different kits that you can buy that you will use to actually fix that problem. Next up, we're moving to all tools. And by all tools, I mean all tools. They have a ton of different tools that you can use on your device. Like for these kind of things that you see here, you will probably need a ton of apps from the App Store. But once you have this app, you can just go ahead and browse all of these And you can see right here, we also have common tools, which are like more simple tools. But here we have a ton of stuff like you will have like things like a file transfer. You can go ahead and make Wi-Fi calls or use the walkie talkie. You will have here the basic tools like the Internet speed, the signal strength. You will have things like altitude, leveler, compass. You will have the camera tools as well. You can detect different colors, use a night mode cam, the health tools. So again, measure tools. You can basically measure everything you want. And then you will have here the audio utility. You will have things like microphones and all that stuff a tuner then you will have the extra tools like unit converters you can see right here also number counter billing system device info and all that stuff everything within one app and you will also have a search bar right there at the top where you can just go ahead and search for any tool you need highlighter is up next now this is a simple app to use yet it's very useful and very effective it allows us to hide different text on your screenshots or pictures so you simply load a picture that you want and you can just go ahead and just like just swipe on that text and it will do that automatically for you you can see that line i just draw it like that and it turns it into a perfect line which is really awesome now you can go here you will have an eraser a manual highlighter then you will also have here the magic highlighter which we're using right now which basically will let you just swipe like this and will hide anything you want now when you go here we'll also have the option to actually choose which color you want to use to actually hide the text on any of your screenshots or pictures screenshot sensei is up next it allows you to manage your screenshots in one place and actually will use ai to give you all kinds of different informations and tools about your screenshots so here i have my screenshots you can just tap on analyze right there to analyze any of your screenshots here i have a few that i have analyzed it will basically give you an ai summary of everything that's on that screenshot and we'll also add automatically keywords to your screenshots will organize them and then also put them into different categories basically different folders that will then let you just go ahead and quickly find your screenshots so right here you can see we have all kinds of different categories from where we can just go ahead and browse and just find the screenshots that we need without having to go through all like the different screenshots that we have saved on the camera roll 
Next up is dual camera and it's a dual camera, but also a geotag. So it does both at the same time and it actually does much more. As you can see right here, you can use a camera to take dual photos, meaning that you're taking a photo with the front and the rear camera at the same time. You can do the same for videos as well. And then you can also do the same, but now add the geotag to your photo or video while taking it. You can also add watermark directly to your camera. So you're shooting a video, you actually have the watermark on your camera, which is really awesome. And that by text, you can add any text you want, or you can just go ahead and maybe load a picture from your camera roll, a logo or something like that. Then you can also remove the background from your photos. You will also have the overlap audio, which allows you to add an overlap audio on your video, on existing videos or new videos as well. And then you will also have the gallery of everything that you have shot with this app. Next up is Swiper. Now, Swiper is a very easy way to manage your photos. We all have a ton of photos on the photos library. And with this app, you can actually quickly jump between them and keep or delete any of them. As you can see, if I swipe to the left, it will delete the photo. If I swipe to the right, I can keep the photo just like that. Simply by swiping, you can quickly go ahead and just manage our, all of your photos. And it also allows you to browse your photos based on dates, which makes it that much easier to find the photos that you need to clean. Next up is charging time. Now this is an app that has been around for quite some time. And I know with iOS 26, we have the charging time now on the lock screen, but this app takes it a bit further. So you can actually, first of all, choose which device you're using to charge, basically which charger you're using to charge your device, like your maybe your laptop, a charger, your car, or maybe a Wi-Fi charger, wireless charger. And then right here, it will show you the percentages and how many minutes it needs to reach that percentage for, of course, different percentage levels right here. Then you can go ahead and add charges if you have any extra ones. And then if you go here, you can choose the target level and it will also send you notifications when you're actually at that level, which is really awesome. You will see all the notifications here. So it adds some extra features to the charging time. Now, one thing that I really like is that it also has like right here, a widget which will display you the current charging time for your device so you can always view it on the home screen. Now talking about charging, we have here Cloud Battery, which is an amazing app. It will allow you to keep track of all the batteries of your devices, as long as you have, of course, the app installed on your devices as well, like your MacBook, your Apple Watch, or your other iPhones, you have the app installed, and then you can view the battery percentages for all of them. Like even right here on the home screen, you can actually see the percentage of the charge for your batteries, which is really awesome. And if you go here, you can tap on edit widget and you can just pick which batteries you want to see and we'll, we'll display them right here. So you can choose whether you want to just display the charging ones at ones that are unplugged and things like that. So it just basically gives you more like a view on your batteries and all the time you can know at what percentage your devices are. So that is it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and the apps that you saw on this video. If you want to download any of them, you will find all of them linked right down below on the pinned comment. Hope you guys again enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one.